So, Cassie. Megan. Megan. Um, so, I moved in the October of 2020. So, pretty much started immediately after we both moved in. Um, we would just get really weird feelings at certain points in the house, specifically the basement. There's an old workbench down there from the first owner. I was under the impression I was like, oh, well, it might be the first owner. But then we started specifically seeing like black shapes slink down the stairs and weird stuff like that. We would just see sh things shift like through the night, which our cats don't typically jump up on our surfaces. They just don't. But we started noticing really strange things like that where we just weren't super comfortable. It didn't feel familiar. It didn't feel comfortable by any means. It just made us uneasy. We did a full stage of the house. She's very into crystals and things like that. So she actually placed a crystal above the doorway going into the basement. We all felt extremely uncomfortable, specifically in the basement. Like my mom, two weeks after I moved in, came over to help me move. And I came to come back upstairs and she started screaming and freaking out that she couldn't be down there by herself. She felt like someone was down there with her. She felt watch. I had to go back down, get her and bring her back up with me. And that's how pretty much everybody's been that has come here. So after we did the sage and after we did the crystals, it actually seemed to calm down for a little bit to an extent. I mean, we still had some activity, but nothing that was major. And it felt like there was a shift, like you didn't feel as watched as you used to until a couple months ago, where I don't really know what happened or what could have shifted, but a lot of weird things started popping up. And the biggest one that happened where me and her were past the point of being able to coexist to an extent was i believe it was about a month ago mm -hmm. her and i both woke up at about seven in the morning at the same time which we never do we usually wake up at completely separate times i was facing this way in the bed she was facing towards me for whatever reason we woke up at the exact same second we both looked towards the door and the door slammed so it i mean we just lay there for a second like am i hallucinating did that just happen yeah, at first we thought it could have been like the furnace kicking on, maybe because there's a vent right by the door and maybe that just blew it shut, but the furnace wasn't on. We never we had didn't the have windows any open. windows open, anything like that. It just, it was open. Our like, cats were all asleep much. on our bed. We both looked at the door and it just went boom. And the door is old. Like, you have to like really push it to get it to stay shut. Yeah, this is an old house. Things do and not it, stick easy. Yeah, it just so. slammed. So, like, even if the wind like just gusted it, it wouldn't have shut all the way. So past that point, we've heard something walking down the stairs almost every night because we'll, we both sit here and it's just us. And typically our animals go where we go. They just stay in the room where we're in and they kind of just hang out. They don't really move around a whole lot. They don't mess with a whole lot of stuff. It was about a week after the door incident. So about three weeks ago, we were sitting here and we heard, and once you go up our stairs, you can hear, you can hear where the stairs creak and what step you're on, depending on the pitch of the creek. But typically our cats aren't even heavy enough to make it creak like it would with a person. It was very loud. So we looked back and our doorbell is right there. So I have never seen the doorbell move ever in all three runs were spinning in circles. So we stopped them after we calmed down. I went up there, I jumped on the stairs. <clears throat> I walked past it. I yeah, ran tried past to, like, it. Walk past it to the get some air. The only thing I could get it to move was when I was two inches in front of it, blowing as hard as I could, and when I hit it. But I mean, there was nobody back there at all. Yeah, because we've heard noises before, and we're like, "Oh, that's just the cats." And we'll look over, and there's a cat asleep on the chair over there. There's a cat asleep here, and then there's a cat on the couch next to us. And we're like, "Okay, it wasn't wasn't a cat." And the dog's outside. So what? And we have lights turning on at random all the time. I mean, we'll hear doors closing starting again like a couple weeks ago. When you're upstairs, you can hear like a clashing down here. It sounds so, kind of like like a metallic sound, like something metal falling and hitting the floor. Hmm. So one of us will get up and we'll come to check it out. And it's nothing on the floor. not our shepherd. I mean, she stays in the basement. She's not at night, very yeah, active she's... when she's in her crate. But especially when the doors open, you can hear it like reverberating up the stairs. You can tell it doesn't come from the basement. Nothing's ever out of place, ever. It's been a lot of very strange things like that where you just, you get a weird feeling, you hear crashing. I mean, we, anybody who specifically like sits in this spot, 
literally every single person we've ever had come over will tell us that they see stuff coming down our stairs. Mm. So I've personally had like super weird coincidences since I've been here with what I assumed would be the first owners. So I actually reached out to the neighbors and figured out that was accurate. So I actually rehabbed the bathroom upstairs the same day that they did 46 years prior because they signed the wall and I saw it. I was like, oh, funky. Okay, <laughs> that's weird. I bought this house sight unseen actually. So I was like super touched to this house from online. I thought it was awesome, it was super, you know, old and eclectic. Um, so yeah, like I moved in and I wanted, I had like the entire color scheme planned out for the outside and the shutters and the inside and it's the exact same color scheme that they had. Once I got my MLS access when I was an agent, I actually looked back to the older photos of the house from when they bought it and it was. So I was like, oh, okay, that's weird. Weird things like that coupled with specifically feeling a presence in the basement. I kind of assumed it may have been the first owner because he's now passed and he was here for a long time. When I reached out to you guys, it was after, you know, the slamming doors and, you know, things crashing down here and it was never quite like that. I mean, we would occasionally see like, you know, shadows and like kind of hear like a creek here or there where it's like, okay, like you can tell it was something, but you know, it was kind of just weird and spooky and we were like, oh, well, maybe it's not the first owner. Okay. Well, then it got better after we saged, but yeah, lately it's just felt very, very, very different. We have, um a vanity down there an old vanity yeah, yeah and we had tape across the doors of it because the doors just kind of swing open freely so we had taped it shut and one day i went down there and one of the doors was wide open so i just like i taped it back and i tried messing with it a little bit to see if the tape was gonna like come off and it was just gonna swing open and it wasn't like easily opening or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And a couple days later go down, that was open again. There's also like this shelf thing over top of the tool bench down there. And it's got like a little door that opens, but we've got a TV down there sitting and you can't really open it without moving the TV. And mm -hmm. neither of us ever mess with that tool bench. And went mm -hmm. down there one day and one side of that was wide open. And I was like, were you? messing with the tool bench and she was like no and i was like okay well one of the doors is open on it like it's yeah. got to the point where like it used to be on a weekly basis and now it's pretty much a daily for the past couple months or so and i mean we we're definitely the debunk type of people i mean we're both we consider ourselves spiritual we believe no, that's in spirit. good because we are too mm -hmm. we try to yeah so instantly the second thing. something happens we very like did you hear that? I heard that. What did you hear? What did you see? What did you we feel? The window open, the we checked the furnace, we checked the windows, we immediately check where the animals where are at, we yeah. check if they're awake or sleeping to see if they could have ran off from knocking something over, doing something like that. I mean, every single time something like this has happened, I mean, we've checked all our boxes and we have no idea. And that's another thing. Sometimes the cats will sit in our room and just stare at something on yeah. the ceiling. Or they're and like, kind of bob their heads, something. like you can tell that they're like, checking mm -hmm. something out yeah and there's nothing there no bugs or anything like that my dogs typically typically the only time she barks is when she's outside there's been a couple nights where she's been downstairs in her crate She'll just her bed, and you'll hear her cry and growl and do like her defensive bark <clears throat> and i'm like there's i don't know what's going on so when she came over here she experienced stuff my first friend that moved in with me has experienced things, you know, I've had quite a few friends. I mean, seriously, every single person that has been here for over two hours is like, it just feels weird in here. Like it, it feels weird. They like feel like they catch something or like see something at some point. So I thought I was crazy originally because I was like, there's no way I'm seeing stuff when I just moved in this house. Like I was like, oh, I'm just afraid of living alone, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, and then everyone was you know, seeing stuff with me and it progressed and now it's been almost two years. I'm like, there's no way. I mean, it's something. <laughs> What's going on? What's the blue thing? That means the 
touching it? As you walked by, that went off. Oh yeah, probably. You weren't that know. close. You weren't that close. You were like here. Um, you were like here. You were like here. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Are you up here with it us? It could have been right there. Yeah, it's not. Interesting. That should not go off vibration. Or not. Hmm. Children press matter. Children press. She You're just pressed it on the floor. Course. You want to touch it again? Hmm. Like you heard that, right? <laughs> oh, I'm in the way of the camera. I heard that. Hmm. Tesla. Were you talking about Julia Tesla. pressing on the floor? I do not own a Tesla. S slow down. Necessary. There's a cat right there. It says Nor all the time, and I'm like, is it trying to say my name? Happiness. I don't know. Ham. Are you happy? Lens. Wagon. I want to go down. That doesn't make much sense. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I, heard, I just heard it. Did it just move? Did. Tyler. Matt, can you step back a few steps? So this is Matt. Now this this is reversed. So under the steps. So under the steps is. As soon as I got to the top of the stairs, oh, is this I said Walter. Yes. They said what? Walter. I'm still there. Now, if you're not getting a cold chill, it's going to move further from me. Okay. Well, you can't That's technically over that one, yeah. right? Yeah. Hmm. Over by the tool or the. Were cable. those cabinets here when you moved in? Mm hmm. Our so camera is showing. Oh, wait, come back. Why don't you come over here towards me? Okay, we'll go away from you. Can you come back? Can you stay behind me? Come over here. So, right as I came down the steps, it was on that wall. Okay. Oh, yep, there it is. No, I don't want to get jumped from behind. <laughs> Can you show us that's you by facing us, please? So what we do when we try to, when we do think we pick something up, we try to get an intelligent response. Mm -hmm. So can you raise your left hand, can you raise your right hand, you know, that kind of thing. Can you come back? We don't mean you any harm. I know there's a bunch of us down here, but we're all very friendly people and we're just here to see who you are. We have a device that lets us see you, but it will not hurt you. Can you make a noise? I would guess that could work. I mean, maybe. Was that you? Can you make the same noise again?
see them. Yeah, I was just wondering if it like stayed with them, was behind them. Yeah, we'll be It's so weird that it's reversed. Mm -hmm. Whoa, where'd it go? Yeah, top of it. There it yeah. Okay, what was that? That's me moving. What? No, it picked up something else over here. That's just the different. It's so far away that it can't really. Okay. See, it keeps going back and forth. Sideways. It's on the verge of that red, so. Yeah. It's a hot wheels have that you can talk to. Mm -hmm. It's a Walter and crossover, and that was first stopped. Mm -hmm. Crossover. I'm just. It was under the steps. Mm -hmm. Them. And then we all came downstairs. Mm -hmm. And it went away. I don't think it likes. Wow. Well. Maybe it's shy, like it's been saying. Mm-hmm. Like a big whoop. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'm feeling more energy upstairs than I am down here. Yeah. I'm not. I once my eyes got used to everything else. Maybe it's because we all came down here and it. Hiding, but yeah, cause cause I felt way weirder. Yeah, total, totally different feeling than what I felt when I first looked down here. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it went upstairs because it looked like it went up through this corner mm -hmm. and it went towards the stairs. Yeah. So, so the little, there. the little door on the wall in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's a laundry chute that heads down here. Where? Right, right there. Yeah. Right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. What about the laundry chute? Went upstairs. So that was. Do we flash it on there? That was something that I was thinking about when we were upstairs. Is mm -hmm. so if this this thing has to stay in the basement because there's a crystal above the door. Mm -hmm. And. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting around it. I get where you're going. Getting around it too. Yes. And so it has a way to get around it. That's a pretty okay. clear passageway. Um, mm -hmm. There's a crystal above the basement door. Uh -huh. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we saw it that? here. Mm -hmm. Sure. Did you it see moved that? off this way. Mm -hmm. Tucked upstairs. And now it's gone. Upstairs. Did you hear that, Nora? Mm -hmm. That's uh. Our cats. <coughs> that's the one go upstairs and chase it back down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody yeah. go up. Oh yeah, you go ahead. Yeah. stay. You go, <coughs> you go on that. Get right on that mat. Well, and also, <laughs> <laughs> also, a bunch of us came down here. So should a couple of us go back up? Stay up there. I'll go up. I don't care. I just totally heard something upstairs. I'm here like, here, I'll go with you. Mm -hmm. My stuff is round off. Bring it back down. You're making the three of us go by ourselves. We'll be fine. You get a body cam on Nora, so we'll hurry. Mm -hmm. Straight in front of you. Straight in front of you. It's like like a, a, almost looks like a air vent. It's on the wall, kind of where the wall meets the ceiling. Right here? It's funny, we didn't yeah, think that was when we first moved in until we threw something down it. Mm -hmm. It said hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? All right. Since hello. you just said hello, my name's Bill. My name's Tyler. My name is Matthew. You probably know Cassidy and Megan. This is Julia sitting beside me. I'm Whitney, but don't say my name. <laughs> <laughs> if you're trying to talk through that S box that Nora's listening to, great. But you got to slow down so she can understand what the hell you're saying, and one at a time. You're welcome to come in here and join us. I think it said one at a time. 
<laughs> yes, one at a time. Yes, one at a time. time. It's very important. Where is the medication? See that? What'd she say? Rolled. What'd that say? Use your medication rolled. <laughs> Do you live here? Did you used to live here? I had it. You have what? Inaudible. Yeah. <clears throat> I have it. Why are you here? From this side. <clears throat> From this side. What side? Outside? Get it. You have a message that you want to give us? From that side, didn't you say that I could have come over from them working on it off? Mm -hmm. Could have been. Yeah. Whenever you could start in. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Are you from the neighboring house? The house next door? Whispering. Thank you Left. for whispering. Left. Lab. Now, you want? We want to talk to you. Yeah. You guys want to say something? All of you. You want to talk to all of us? Okay. You want to ask that a question? Good. Is there something you want to say to Megan and I? Hey. <laughs> that was really loud. <laughs> just, just talk back. Normal just conversation. Yeah, just have a conversation. <laughs> Do you like to hang out in the basement? Maybe? What was it? Why? Why? I feel like we see you in the basement. Do you stay in the basement? Sunday. Come over here. Where are you? Looking. Do you want us to look for you? Inaudible. What was that? Did he yes? Back. I thought I heard yes. And and there was like vibration Again. and like yes. movement. Was was that you that made that noise? When? Do you want us to go back to the basement? You might just want to talk to me. I think so. <laughs> it's like, Hi oh. or I? I don't know. I think so. There's a rim pod. That was a rim pod. That's on me. Oh, it that's a rim pod. I could be a cat. Is there a rim pod? Yeah. Yeah. Get on the stairs. <laughs> You scared the what? shit out of me when you walked over here. <laughs> I'm like, I'm playing with the ego, though. It's a good is Thad here? Oh, hello. There's a cat. <laughs> I'm like going in at my eyes closed and I open them and there's a cat right there. <laughs> <laughs> Frame, nope, or? that's not the door frame. No, no, come here. You get the camera on it? Yes. Yeah, and I can hear it. If... 
Yeah. So I see you sitting there. Won't you raise, raise your hand? There you are. I see you. I can see you. Can you wave at us, please? Can you show us that that's you? Thank uh, you. Thank you. That was kind of a wave. What? Is that a I'm wave sure. or what are you doing? Transforming? It almost looks like it's waving us down to the basement. I think so. Okay. Yeah, are you waving us down there? Yeah. Yeah. It's like literally pointing down there. Yep, yeah, it is. Let's come back. Did you want us to come down there? It is. Look at that. Yep. It's waving. Can you take your right hand and put it up? Please. Which one's right? <laughs> <laughs> it's backward, so. So it would be this one closest to this, right? Mm, yep. Are you on the wall? Get off the wall. Come down off the wall. No, I'm not coming down until you go off the wall. Mm -hmm. It keeps waving. Do you see that? Oh. Top left, there's a... Yep, it's waving. Yeah, come on. Can you stand in the doorway? Come to the doorway. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's literally hovering on the wall. Yeah. yeah. There goes the cat. Just slide in past Tyler. And you might go to... Hey, it's Cassidy. Can you please take a step basically. forward for me so you can talk to my friends here? It's kind of trying to. Yeah, oh, yes. it's coming off the wall. Oh, hey. <clears throat> hey, my friends here just want to ask you a couple questions. I just want to talk to you. Come down. Can you wave your arms for me? Trying to. You don't have to be scared. We're not here to harm you. Let's see if it can touch the rim pot. There's a red light on the stairs. Are you able to show us that it's you by touching that red light? He took his head. He's looking at it. It won't hurt you. Just touch it for us. That's really cool because it was on the wall. Mm -hmm. And then it's completely moved over this way. Yep. Cassie, get the cat. Yeah, there was another cat that went down there already. Mm -hmm. Matt, do you have the audio? Uh, it's sitting on tape on there, over there. It's saying something. I can hear it. I'm pretty sure it's still point, like it's, pointing down there. It is. Oh, that's a really big arm. That's mm -hmm. a really big arm. <clears throat> um, uh, is there more than one of you? It looks like it. What? Mm. How many? <clears throat> Is your leg shaking? Why are your leg shaking? Huh? Oh, thank you. No. Unless that's a cat. Unless that's the cat, can't tell. Is that you? If that was you, can you please do that again? Thank you. Oh, yes, thank you. That was really cool. I do see a cat, but not on the same same step, so I'm not sure. Can we make a friend real quick? Okay. Mm, might scare it off. Yeah, you might scare it off. Can you touch that red light again, please? <clears throat> Does it make Derek mean anything? Do you know who Derek is? Or Mike? What's it doing? It's almost like you gardening, you guarding it. Yeah. The cat's at the top, so if it. Yeah. It, it literally looks like the cat is being. Yeah. Like getting petted right now. Yeah. The cat's look, look doing at something. Are you petting the cat? Mm -hmm. I really hope I'm holding this camera right because that cat is like. Yeah. Are you petting that kitty? Do you have a bottle yes. on the stairs? I have it in my hand. Okay. He's petting the cat. <clears throat> Can we come down there with you? It just waved again. It did. Are you going to be scared if we come? Do you mean any of us any harm? If I reach my hand out to you, can you touch it? Let's see if I get it on the. Okay. 
Can you touch my hand? I don't know how to... Touch it. Touch her hand. His feet's touching your hand. <laughs> Trying to. It is colder over here, but of course it's a face mask. Can you take your hand and place it in mine? I can hear, like, I shuffling down there. The cat's back up here now. Okay, maybe that's the cat. No, she's back up here now. Yeah, she's up. Because. You're real close. Come on. There, oh, oh, hey. Where are you going? Oh, I just. It's like on my fingers. I know it. I feel the cold air. That was really weird. Like it moved my finger. Mm hmm. He's touching your hands right now. I tried mm -hmm. to. It feels like it went away. Mm -hmm. It's still there. Can you give me a low five here? Can you slap my hand? No? Are you refusing? It's like he's got his hands crossed. Yeah. Let's get people out. Ooh, real cold again. Ooh, that's weird. Mm -hmm. We just touch it. Can you wave? Yes, Tower. Yeah, you can't come past the basement, can you? Mm hmm. It's waving until it's come down. Look. I know. Yeah. It's in how do we know that you're nice? Can you prove that you're nice and touch that red light down there? You touch that red light, we'll come down. Prove that you're nice. It's actually changing forms. It's like it's getting bigger. Yeah. But nothing in there is changing. I can almost see a shadow. Holy crap, I can almost do it. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, oh, the 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 burner on the stove. How do you turn it off? Let's not do that. <laughs> but I did see a shadow back there. I still see a shadow. Matter of fact, I still see a shadow. On the left side. Do you? Yes. On the left side. Well, you asked if it was nice and tried to sit down the barn, so. I see it. Yep. Uh huh. It's yep. kind of down lowish. Yep. It's like the same side as the door. You see like that? Same side as the door. Uh -huh. You see that? Uh -huh. Is it a cat? Is it a cat? Okay. Oh, cats are up here. Okay. Are you seeing shadow? Yeah, there's, yeah. I don't, I can't tell what it is without moving okay. too much. But where the rim pod light is like reflecting on the light hanging or whatever that is, I also saw something go past that. So whatever's in that camera, you can actually kind of See it? Are you uh, making noises down there? What are you? One, two. Can't get past the door. Are you able to raise your other hand for us? I don't know what the hell he's doing. Get the crystal up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he's doing. I'm not sure about that shadow. He's still waving. He's still you. waving. Come down. Come down. Come down. You have to touch the red light. We're not coming down. Mm -hmm. Touch that red light for us and we'll come down. Do you understand what we're saying? There goes the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Are you able to knock on that door right there? He's tall too. No, he's trying. Yeah. Okay. He is. He just did. <laughs> Look. He's like, oh, we <laughs> can't hear it. All right. That's really cool. That is. Can you try that one more time? Can you try to knock on that door? Boom. Boom. The other hand. The other hand. Boom. Thank you. Did the cat? I don't. Did, did the cat go down there? Yeah, I see yeah. a shadow, so it could be. I have two cats here. Let me see. Ambrose. Ambrose, come um, here. Ambrose. There is definitely a cat on the stairs, but I can't tell if it's close enough to look Let me look at night. Can you take the SLS with yeah, you and maybe he's you down there. He's down there. Who is it? Are you trying to pet that cat? 
Mm -hmm. No, the cat's down there. He's trying to pet the cat. No, the cat's not touching the thing anymore. He's up here. No. Nope. Yeah, the cat just came up. Yeah. He's still going on. If you're touching that, can you stop yeah, touching, touching it for it. just a minute? There's not a cat bad here. Can you stop um, touching it, please? It could have better going in. Um, it would be green, though. It's uh, red and blue. And I think it's touching it. He's still got it on the... I'm fairly certain it touched my hand. So if it can touch my hand, it can touch that. Alright, stop touching it. You can let it go. If you can hear us, please stop touching it so we know that you're listening to us. I want you to come upstairs so you can turn that off, please. Let it go. You want to try to reset it? Let it go. If I go past there, then I don't know what I'll do to my little buddy there. Right? I smell gas. It's from this, yeah. Oh, so. yeah, sure it was. Look, it's waving. It's time to come down there. <laughs> That's really cool. You want me to go reset the or? We yeah. said let go. But when we told it to knock on the door, it really did go like this. Yeah. On both sides. <laughs> on the one side first where the door is, and then it did the other side. That's kind of cool. You want the other room on? I think it's um, yeah. It's actually, I'm sorry, it's actually on the wall. Yeah. Get off the wall. <laughs> jump down to the, jump down on the steps. Yeah. Here comes the other one screaming. Huh? Oh, so we need something strange. That's why I think it's one. I'm gonna have to go back to get that. Yeah, but he's he's like right there, buddy. Oh, I'm not really scared of him. I'm oh, no. chasing him away. I don't think he's going anywhere. He's asked us to come down. Alright, I'll come down there. Yeah. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. He's on top of your head. Excuse me. He's just floating. Hello. He's floating. Is it drain? Yeah, it's okay. He's still up there? Yeah, he's still there. He's actually on your shoulder right now. This one's got a new battery in it. Doesn't awesome. make any sense. Trade me. And then it will replace this battery and put Excuse it in. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Is he still, he's still nope. Back. He's gone. Oh. You gone? Yep, he left. It's okay. That's all right. You come back. He left. It's me. Oh, he's sitting still playing with it, I think. Is he? Can you touch it again? Can you touch that one more time for us, please? Thank you. Where'd you go, buddy? It's okay, you can come back. He thought it's come down and... Mm-hmm. He was, he was telling us the battery was dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's a wood creaking. I'm like, there's something down here. <laughs> no, we're still heard the wood creaking. <laughs> If 
there are any spirits down here in the basement, we've got a few different ways you can talk to us. We've got this red light down here on the floor. You, if you reach down and touch that, it will alarm and let us know that you're here, which is fine. You're welcome to use that. Bill has a special camera that if you step in front of it into the weird lights that it's doing, then it'll hopefully see you and tell us that you're here. And we also have a special radio over here on the dryer. And it can sometimes hear you if you talk very clearly and loudly. You can also speak to us directly. You can try to knock on the walls, touch one of us. If there's any message that you'd like to give to us, or to the world, or to the people that live here, now is the time to do it. Hello? Is there anyone here? I just want to talk to you. All you have to do is talk very clearly and slowly into that device that you're talking into. Yep, that one. We need you to understand that the new owners of the house are going to be here for a while. They're willing to let you stay here. But the way that you're trying to communicate with them is not acceptable. Just to confirm that you're trying to communicate with us, there's a red light on the floor. And that device has a antenna sticking off of it. If you'll just touch that antenna, it'll make some other lights light up and it'll make a beeping noise. Can you touch that? Just like, just like Matt's doing. All you gotta do is reach down there and touch it. Can you do that for us? I just want to confirm that you're willing to talk to us. Yes. Yes, yes you are? Thank you. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Can you tell us your name? Little Wolf. Mm -hmm. Scott? Scott. It's nice to meet you, Scott. Are you the one that stays here in the basement? Yup. Yep. Are you upset that they put a crystal above the door to keep you in the basement? Cold, right here. I felt some cold too. Yes, right here. Scott, are you still here, Scott? Yes. Yeah. Scott, do you mean anyone here harm? Do you have any bad intentions? I thought I heard heaven. Yeah, it said it again. You, you don't have any bad intentions? Okay, mm. I need to be more clear because you're saying yes. And I don't know what that means. Do you have bad intentions here? No. Is that a no? Won't or no or... Who's the female? Can we talk to her? Let the female talk. <laughs> she did. How many spirits is here? We not coach enough. More coach is over here. Yeah, I'm feeling yep. the breeze on my way. Right here, yep. Yes. Mm. 
I just want to say that I felt something on my lap. Touching you right Did there. you just touch Cassidy? Let's, let's make one thing clear. You're not allowed to touch me. I don't give you permission. How I many spirits are here? As many. I feel like I keep hearing something that starts with an S. Again? Five, six, four, four of us plus one. Could be. Us. Us. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> how, how many of you? Said so us. Us could mean different numbers. Us. Give me a number. <laughs> I heard six. I've heard six. Yeah. I've heard six. six. Yeah. six. So there are six of you? Or is there two of you? Can we speak to the lady? Can she say hi? Yeah, there is a hi. We need you to speak clearly and slowly, please. That way we can understand you. That's fun. Right. Very old furnace. So we would like to do some something a little bit different, just to confirm that you're here. There she is. Hello. Hi. What's your name? My name's Tyler. My name is Matthew. This is Cassidy. And I'm Bill. What is your name? Did it just say man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <Bill. laughs> Did you? Is is your name Matt or you're marking me? What, what, what's, what's going on here? <laughs> Say it again? Yeah, it did. Hi, Matt. Can you touch, can you touch the antenna coming off the red thing in the middle of the room? Yes. I said not the man. Not Matt. Do not touch Matt. You're not allowed to touch me. I don't give you permission. You touch me. You can touch Tyler. You can touch me. Do not touch Matt. Do not touch me. Can't speak for Cassidy. He has to tell you your sister. That's true. This is Cassidy here. Do you know me? Yeah. Yep. Yes. How do you know Cassidy? They all say yes. <laughs> do you know Megan? Anne? The females. What's she said? 
female spirit. Her name Anne. That's not what. Right. Yeah. Excuse me, Miss. What's your name? Here, here, Sarah or Karen? Yeah. They're about to leave. If there's anything you want to say, you need to say it now. Do you want to tell Megan and I something? That was fair. Yes. Okay. That was not uh -huh. Say what you need to say. Out. Uh -oh. It's not an option. That's not an option. This is this is where Megan and Cassidy live. They're not going anywhere. I understand that you may be frustrated with that, but you need to accept it because that's fact, and you do not have any control over it. I don't think all the spirits are wanting them to leave. Don't think they are. No. Yeah, just whoever's here in the basement, maybe. Yeah. Who is it that stays here in the basement? Do you want them to go out, or do you want to go out yourself? That's a good. You want them to let you out? Sure. Sure. Not just out of the basement. If you come out of the basement, you go out of the house. You understand? Yes. No. Somebody said no. It's really the only option you got. Is Ruth or Thad here? I understand if you're trying to communicate with them, but the way that you're doing it is scaring them. You need to try, you need to try to find a different way to try to communicate with them. You're going to have to learn how to coexist if you're not willing to leave the house. That means quit waking them up at the middle of the night. Let them sleep. They're all trying to talk at once. Yeah, like see that thing with the these spirit boxes, sometimes you don't know who you're getting. Yeah, yeah. They all trying to speak. As soon as they find out there's a spirit, there's an open. Mm -hmm. They're all coming. <clears throat> all right, we're going to go upstairs, or we're going to go get ready to leave. Uh, yeah. Yep, we're going up. Yeah. We're going to get, get ready to leave. Is there anything else you want to say before we leave? All right, we're leaving. Been good talking to you. Thank you for listening and coming to talk to us. I don't want to talk to you. You don't hear a bye? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 Oh, so, shit. What's in Tyler's pocket? At some point in the night, somebody slipped me a little something. I don't know who that would have been. I have no idea what it is. All I know is what pocket it's in. I love that thing. It was terrible. My hand has brushed up against it a couple times throughout the night. I imagine anything would be and I'm a little scared to open it up. <laughs> you definitely gotta feel it before you guess what it is. Oh wait, they're doing what's in the pocket. You're doing what's in the pocket. Mom, they're doing what's in the pocket. You live in Cincinnati. Right here. Uh-huh. Do you have to guess? It's <laughs> about that long and about that big around. I think the <laughs> safe guess would be some type of flashlight, but... It is not a flashlight. 
It's got a head on it. <laughs> It's not a flashlight, is it? Do we say? No. Oh, God, no, it's not. Oh, it's, not. <laughs> it's not what I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bingo dobber. Oh, my God. Are you sure? I'm going to bingo dob somebody. Bingo dob. <laughs> We're all going to know. Because <laughs> you've been dobbed. Oh. There you go. Take